Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's good to have the Secretary here, and I want to thank the Secretary first for the very strong message you've sent about ethical priorities at the Department. You said you were going to do it, and you did it right out of the box, and we, we appreciate that. I'm also glad that we're making headway now in terms of renewable energy development on public lands. And I want to start, Mr. Secretary, by talking about a problem that I know you're familiar with in the West. We have this huge backlog in terms of hazardous fuels on the forest floor. You know, it's really the byproduct of neglect. And all this dead material has just piled up, and it becomes a huge risk of fire. And I think you know, we've talked about it, some of these fires that we're seeing in the West are infernos, and they aren't natural ones. They come about as a result of neglect. And I and others want to get that material and use it as a source of biomass, as a source of clean energy that we think will put, put people to work and will, at the same time, make our forests uh, healthier. The problem is that the 2000 you know, Energy Act included a definition of renewable biomass that essentially excluded all the biomass, including slash and thinning byproducts, from federal lands. So what you've got now is you've got people in the forest products industry, environmentalists, scientists already and anxious to use you know, biomass. It's a win-win-win situation. Reduce the risk of fire, green up the environment, and put people to work making clean energy. And we haven't been able to do it because of this policy with respect to federal lands. Now, I introduced legislation to amend the Clean Air Act to modify the definition of renewable biomass uh, contained in the Renewable Fuel Standard so that biomass from national uh, forests and BLM land is eligible as a fuel source. Would you be willing to work with all of us on this? I think there will certainly be bipartisan support for it. You might recall that when we tried to do it before, uh, then Chairman uh, Bingaman and Senator Domenici went off and tried to get us started with a good definition. We got it here in the committee, and then along the way, support for it evaporated. So I think there'll be uh, bipartisan support for it. Can we? I uh, have a commitment from you and your office to work with us on getting this biomass definition right so we can get this woody byproduct off the federal lands and as a clean energy source? The answer is yes, we would be uh, happy to work with you. Um, you know, I have always seen biomass as uh, being one of those uh, great opportunities with respect to renewable energy. And indeed, uh, because of the stimulus package, uh, there is money in there for uh, hazardous fuels reduction. For whatever reason, uh, the uh, BLM was not treated as generously as uh, the uh, Forest Service. And uh, so we have taken it upon ourselves to work closely with uh, Secretary Vilsack so that we have a uh, concerted approach to how these dollars are spent. And there are monies that were included in there. Uh, with respect to grants uh, for uh, biomass uh, facilities, uh, and so not into the Department of Interior, but into the Department of Agriculture, and so we're hoping to see some of these projects sprout out. Well, let, let's get this definition right so that we can get some of the woody biomass off federal lands. We're barred from doing it. There's a way to do this so that forest products, industries, environmentalists who are concerned about old growth They'll come together. We saw that we were able to do it with Senator uh, Domenici and Senator Bingaman. I think working with your office, we'll be able to get that definition correct. Let me ask you about one other one um, very quickly. During your public announcement last week, you uh, mentioned the potential for wave energy, but the actual order didn't do that. And wave energy didn't get into the um, order. Can we work with you to make sure that it finds its way into the actual order and the list of energy energy priorities? Might have just been an oversight. I mean, it, it, it is, you know, in the portfolio of renewable energies, uh, I think when you look at, um, at uh, current and tidal energy, uh, they need to be very much on the table. But we can also, we must also be cognizant of where we are with respect to the technologies. Uh, we know uh, that we have the technology ready and available and, and already deployed with respect to wind energy. We know the same thing uh, is, is there with respect to solar, even though it's not quite as far along as, uh, as, as it is with wind. Uh, the, the technology around uh, 
ocean and uh, tid tidal and wave energy is a little further um, removed from, uh, from becoming a reality. But it is something that is on the table, and it is something that uh, we will work on uh, in concert uh, and together uh, with uh, FERC, because there is jurisdiction that they do have that uh, we will try to work on this issue as part of our renewable energy portfolio. Uh, my, my time is up. I would only say, Mr. Sec Secretary, I think making sure that wave energy um, gets the attention it warrants would fit perfectly at page two of the order. And if I can work with you, that'd be great. And thank, thank you again for getting out of the gate, particularly on ethics, in such a strong, uh, strong fashion. That message has sunk in around the country, and I appreciate your doing it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.